guys welcome back to another vlog i'm just waking up the house right now good morning how are you today in the morning i've been taking the love wellness sparkle fiber and this is a super greens blend it's just gonna help support detoxification regulation and also digestion this isn't gonna be like a instant relief they also have a product called bye bye bloat which is going to be that instant relief that you need if you are feeling any like bloating or discomfort and the sparkle fiber you take consistently so this is just going to be like for longevity rather than like an instant relief and also i have a discount code if you guys want to check out any of their products they have amazing women's supplements and they gave me the discount code maggie15 i'll write it right here on the screen and then i'll also have it linked down below they have really great products i've seen them before like in target on amazon also they sell the bye bye bloat i order off of gopuff all the time and they have it on gopuff so if you guys are interested definitely use my discount code to get some money off and i just take three of these in the morning and the Love Wellness products have science-backed ingredients and they're made without microbiome and endocrine disruptors. I just want to put that out there because I always want to make sure when I am taking something, it's going to be very high quality and it's going to support your body and it's not going to have any like ingredients that I don't want to consume. So that is why I love Love Wellness and I really like the Bye Bye Bloat pills as well. So yeah, I will leave a link down below, Maggie15. It'll get you money off of your order and everything will be in the description. It's currently 7.30. Have to be out of the house very, very soon because Mac and I are going to church with his family. So I have to go get ready for that. But just wanted to say good morning and welcome back to another vlog. We're going to go do light makeup upstairs. I just did skincare, so I don't really want to put too much on, but obviously still want to put a little bit on, so we're going to go do that. Hopefully my camera's okay here. <laughs> Literally last time I put my camera here, it ended up falling and breaking, so hopefully it's okay. We are going to do a little bit of makeup this morning. Not too much. I also need to wash my makeup brushes today, so we're gonna do that as well. I'm not gonna wear foundation because it's not even eight in the morning yet, but we're gonna do a little bit of cream bronzer and we're just gonna do this to obviously warm up the face. I really like this bronzer because it's so easy to blend and I really like the color that it gives as well. Emma used to use this all the time and I don't know why it took me so long to start using it, but I really like it. It's been like a staple. In my routine guys i'm so excited because i'm leaving to go to new york tomorrow and i'm going to be there for quite a while i'm going to be there for four days and i'm very excited because i i don't know i just love this time of year especially in new york and boston so it's going to be really just cute there you know everything's going to be all decorated <laughs> not decorated the leaves are going to be you know like changed and uh, it's just gonna look so pretty and i'm so excited i'm seeing my friends that live there and i also have an appointment at the tattoo place where i got the tattoo on my hip in 2019 it's like four and a half years ago and i'm gonna go and get another well i'm gonna get a couple that i've been wanting for a while and this is the milk concealer i'm just gonna put a little bit of this And we have two different blush shades. I like to mix rosy and chili from Say. These are my favorite. Two favorites at the moment right now. I feel like I've been talking about them nonstop. And I just love the way that these look together. Wait, one of you guys actually commented and said that I needed to try another shade. I forget the name of it. But I think it's more like a red. I think I've seen it before. So I'm going to go. I'm going to see if I can get it soon so i can try that i feel like that'd be like a really good shade for like winter time with like a darker lip i always like to put it on my nose you guys know i feel like it just makes it look so good also it feels weird when i don't have like a base on my face when i just do concealer and like cream products i don't know why it makes my face feel very like shiny mental note i need to get my eyebrows done today at some point i were gonna set our face to get rid of that shininess. I'm 
camera already. I didn't get to show you guys my outfit before we left the house, but I'm wearing a Jerf Avenue dress, just like a long black dress, and a Jenny Kane sweater over, and then my trench coat I'm like layering today because it's a little bit cold. Just got back home. I'm preheating the oven right now, and I'm gonna make some bacon. I'm gonna do like a Sunday breakfast today, bacon, eggs, all that stuff. So we have the baking sheet. I just put some aluminum foil. I wish that I showed you guys how I did this. I just put two pieces together and I kind of folded it and then like flattened it out because when you cook the bacon, it'll allow it so the grease doesn't get anywhere and it's really easy to clean up. Like you can just take this off and throw it away and then not have to like scrub the pan or anything after since there's like no way that the grease can get through since I like folded the two pieces of aluminum together. Okay, bacon is going in the oven and we're gonna do 15 minutes because, well the package says 15 to 20. I'm gonna do 15 because I don't want it to come out too. I like my bacon crispy. Mac doesn't like his crispy. So I'm gonna make it somewhere in the middle. So we're gonna do 15 and we're gonna see what it looks like. If it needs more time, we'll give it more time. But I feel like if you overcook it, like, you know, there's no going back from that. 15 it is, and I'm gonna make coffee. I really like the iced dirty chai from Greystone. And I know that at Greystone they sell their vanilla syrup and I'm like wondering if they would sell their chai. Cause then I could make a dirty chai at home because every single day that I make coffee like I love making my coffee at home but the thing is, is that sometimes I just want to spice it up you know and I feel like a chai is so easy you just do like the almond milk the chai and then the shots of espresso I have my little tool that I've been using from Amazon my espresso tool if you have an espresso, the Breville espresso machine, or any espresso machine where you have the, what is this thing even called? Am I okay? I don't even know. You know what I mean? Where the espresso is all ground up. You want to make sure that there's no clumps in it because it helps like give you a better espresso pull. I don't know. I watch all these TikToks about it all the time. We're doing a little Sunday reset today. Somebody's sleeping on the bed, but mommy needs to take off the sheets so we can redo them. He's like, no thank you. Also, I wanna hang up Marcus's painting today right here, so I'm gonna try to do that as well. But first things first, I wanna get the sheets in the wash and strip the bed because I have like my laundry to do and I'm gonna do all of that today. I don't think I really have that much, but I'm gonna do bed sheets, then my clothes, because I'm leaving for New York tomorrow, so I always wanna make sure that I'm like getting everything done around the house that I need to get done, because I don't know why I do that, but I'm like, I wanna come home to no laundry, bed sheets changed and clean, even though I'm not gonna be home till Thursday, and Mac is gonna be here all week, like obviously sleeping on them, I don't know. My side will be clean. Yeah, and today's Sunday, so I'm like, I might as well do it. I also want to do the couch, but I'm like, if I have all this other laundry to do, I don't know if that's going to happen this weekend. We might have to make that like a next weekend project. <laughs> I just washed all of my sweaters, well, my gray sweaters, by hand washing them in my tub because you can't put like wool and cashmere into the washing machine. Well, I guess you can if you put it in. I'm like out of breath right now. <laughs> can, I, can I take a second before I 
start to explain. Okay, I did an Instagram reel. So that's why I didn't vlog it because I was like filming for Instagram. <sighs> but basically, I washed all of my little cashmere sweaters in my bathtub and I use soap by the laundress. You guys will see on my Instagram when the video comes out, but I'm in my little cleaning fit. Just finished my sweaters. I'm honestly, I went downstairs like to bring a bunch of water bottles and trash down there. And I was like, wait, I'm gonna bring my sweaters outside because it's really nice out to dry on my little deck. But I just have all of them laying right now flat. And I like desperately needed to do that. I haven't cleaned any of these sweaters since I got them, which is pretty nasty, but I feel like you don't need to wash them every single time you wear them. But I was like, wait, it's a new season. So we're gonna do these today. I did my gray and then I might do my black next weekend because I'm, I know I'm gonna wear my black one when I'm in New York, the one I was wearing earlier. And I just got that one. So I don't really need to wash it yet. Oh my God, I'm like sweating. Guys, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot, but I'm getting shit done. And the fact that I've been up since seven o'clock, I've gotten so much stuff done and it's been really nice. So next we just have to tackle my personal laundry. All the bed sheets are in there right now. And I have a set right now going in the dryer. And then I'm gonna put the ones from the wash that were just on the bed into the dryer and put the set from the dryer on my bed and then make the bed up. And then I have time to do my own laundry. Here we go, Ooh, downstairs to go bring these out. I was gonna put them on my roof, but we have like pigeons on our roof and I was scared that they were gonna shit on my sweaters. Hey y'all, I'm like all showered and exfoliated. I feel so good right now and so clean. I'm driving downtown to go meet Emma. I have to go return something that I bought last week and then I'm gonna meet her and we're gonna just walk around for a little bit before I go to my spray tan. My spray tan's not till 4.20 and it's 2.52 right now. So we're gonna go do that. Oh my God, I just keep seeing the cutest people walking around today because it's Sunday. I feel like everybody's out and about and it's such a nice day. And there's so many girls wearing like such cute outfits. I just saw this girl and she had this like white off the shoulder top that like rolled over her shoulders and like down. It was so cute and she was just wearing it with jeans and like a pair of chunky like loafers and it was such a simple outfit but so cute. I just saw another girl wearing like a turtleneck sweater with her hair tucked into it. And I'm like, everyone's just looking so cute today and it inspires me and makes me really excited to go to New York tomorrow because I don't know I feel like when I'm in Boston like unless I'm making it a point to go out and do something I never really like get dressed up because I don't leave my house <laughs> so it's so much fun going somewhere where you can like get dressed up and I'm really trying to make it a point to get dressed up more here and like go out and do stuff during the day and not just like go out at nighttime. Sometimes like when you live in a city, you don't take the time to, you know, like get dressed up and do things. I mean, maybe you do, I don't. I always am just like running around town wearing like leggings, but I've been really trying to, you know, wear cute outfits and everyone just looks so cute. Also the trees are like perfect right now. And the air is so crisp and cool and I love it. I'm going to park in this parking garage and I'm like scared because I parked in it one time. It's like this parking garage underneath the Prudential and I was driving through it and my car has like a little, it looks like a little shark fin on top and it's like an antenna and the top of the, not the top of the garage, there was like a bunch of pipes like hanging down and my car was so tall that it literally crunched the, the antenna on the top of my car and it was so bad, I had to get it fixed and I remember it being like $1,500 to fix. And I was like, this sucks <laughs> because the thing was just, I don't know why I was like, 
happened had never had that happen to me in any parking garage before and my friend actually so funny my not it's not funny at all but my friend used to have the same exact car as me and the same exact thing happened to him in the same spot in the same parking garage which was crazy i just got my spray tan I feel like when I have a spray tan, it like makes my face glow even though, or like look more tan even though I don't get it on my face, I only get it on my body. Also, I go to Pure Glow on Newberry Street and I usually get the bronzed tan. I need to get out of this spot because I feel like someone's gonna wanna take my spot. Also, I need to get the heck out of Back Bay. It's like <sighs> so much traffic, you guys. <laughs> Today was like the worst day to book a spray tan. Also, people are crazy. They just like run through the crosswalks even when you don't have like a walk signal. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to get out of here. Okay, so yeah, I usually get bronzed and it makes me like so tan, but I feel like I like getting bronzed if I have like an event to go to or like that's what I got for the wedding and it looked really, really good. But I got one that was in between bronze and sunkissed, which sunkissed is like the one right below bronzed so it was good i got like a mix of both i just feel like it just makes me so much more confident it makes me feel so much better like wearing clothes and stuff like having a little bit of a tan so yeah i'm starving i really should not have gone this long without eating and i'm, I'm mad that i did but i was so busy today doing stuff like i was doing all the laundry, I was doing my makeup brushes, cleaning my sweaters, like cleaning so much stuff that I got distracted and I just like went way too long without eating. And I wanna show you guys because obviously we're on my favorite road in Back Bay, Calm Ave. You guys, this is insane. Please, please, it's so fall, it's so cute. Come on. I'm so hungry. If you ever come to Boston, stay at the Newbury Hotel. I always get questions about where to stay and I recommend the Newbury Hotel because it is at the beginning of Newbury Street, like right on the corner of Arlington and then there's Newbury and Comab. So like half the hotel is like on Comab if you take a left out of the hotel you're like right here and you can walk through Boston public garden and it's just so cute it's so <laughs> wait why do i keep doing that it's so cute and it's such a good location and i just love it that's where i stayed last year well the hotel's right here but Boston public garden's right here obviously calm map is right here and then you have all the shopping on newberry which you can like walk up and down the street really good restaurants you're close to the south end you can go to graystone for coffee and you can walk to beacon hill because beacon hill is really close <laughs> to here and i just love it and it's like such a boston hotel i guess you would say but yeah i stayed there when a few years ago because my heat something happened with my heat and it was like freezing in my apartment because it was so cold outside so i had to go stay in a hotel with milo because oh and I didn't have hot water. It's really bad. So we stayed at the Newberry Hotel. I booked it on, I had this app that I used to have in high school. It's called Hotel Tonight. And you could like go on it and they had like really good deals. My dad showed it to me like a long time ago. And you could like go on the app and they had like deals for that day. And the Newberry Hotel had like a crazy deal going on. So I was like, oh, I'll just book this one. And I think that they had reopened it recently. And so I was like, oh, I'll stay there like two years ago. And it was right around Thanksgiving and it was like so pretty. I really loved it. I fell in love like with the hotel and I did like a staycation there and it was really cute. Uh, remind me, <laughs> remind me guys, when I come back from New York, I wanna like get coffee and walk around the park because I feel like this time of year, it's just so pretty. Hopefully the leaves like aren't gone. The three days that I'm away, hopefully the leaves don't all fall off. Maybe I'll ask Mac to go with me next weekend and we can bring the dogs. That would be so fun and so cute. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Oh, wait. I was going to say, what should I get for dinner tonight? But obviously you guys aren't going to see this video for like a week. 
I was gonna say, should I get a burger tonight or should I get pasta? Because I'm in the mood for both. I'm in the mood for either chicken parm or a burger. But I don't know which one. These drinks are literally my favorite in the whole world. And I never was a soda drinker, but now that I have these, I feel like I literally need one every single day. The Coke, and they're so good. I need to restock the fridge right now because all we have is one row of root beer left. And then I have some sparkling water, but we're gonna fill these up. Yeah, we got Italian from literally my favorite place. Arancini, bolognese, chicken parm, of course. Rigatoni with red sauce, which comes with the chicken parm. I think I'm gonna do a bowl. Whenever I eat takeout, I always have to put it in a regular bowl because I feel like it just tastes so much better. I don't know what it is, but it always tastes a million times better. I'm not a huge fan of parsley. And I feel like they put parsley on everything. I feel like you're either a parsley person or a cilantro person. I like cilantro. I don't know why people think it tastes like soap. Arancini. Mm-hmm. 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 <coughs> we have an ice cold poppy. duvet insert into your duvet cover so i have my sheets all on my bed right now and as you guys can see i put the duvet inside out laid it on top of my mattress the exact way that it would be on my bed so we have the buttons on the bottom and then all of the little ties to attach the comforter to the duvet so what we're gonna do grab your comforter put it directly on top of your duvet. It takes me a few tries to fluff it out and get it evenly. But what you're gonna do once it's on, obviously we're gonna first step secure every corner. One, two, is three. And then this last one. So take the duvet cover and your comforter. And you're just gonna start rolling it like a little burrito and then make sure this side is even so once it looks like a little burrito at the end of your bed you're gonna then reach underneath and grab the piece of fabric that's sitting there and what you're gonna do I don't really know how to describe this well but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna like tuck it over everything you just rolled because now that you're at the bottom this is like the piece that's gonna button together with you know what I mean the other side so you're just gonna stuff the comforter through and then you're gonna roll it out on the other side so basically what you do is you're like rolling it from the top to the bottom taking that layer flipping it up and like stuffing it through and then unrolling it so it's going to be just nice and even and you never have to worry about honestly i can't remember the last time i had to like stuff my comforter into the duvet i feel like I've, i learned this hack i'm not kidding you guys when i was in like fourth grade or something i don't even remember how i learned it my mom taught me this and then just fluff Fluff it all so it's, you know, not lopsided. 
make sure everything's all even. Okay, now I'm just gonna go through, make sure that the bottom is all buttoned. Okay, bed is done. That was a workout. <laughs> also, my sheets are from Parachute. I have the white linen set. This blanket's from Pottery Barn. My bed frame is the Restoration Hardware Cloud Bed. I have it in a king size. This bench right here at the end of the bed is from Wayfair. My rug is from West Elm. My mirror is from CB2. And my dresser right here is from Restoration Hardware. I feel like I always get so many questions about like where everything in my room is from. So that is where everything is from. I'm like so tired now, I'm out of breath from doing all of that. I said I was gonna hang Marcus today and I didn't. I could go downstairs and get my hammer, <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that because It's almost nine o'clock and there's a baby. My neighbors just had a baby, so. I don't wanna, like, I don't know if the baby's sleeping, you know, so I'm not gonna hammer the painting right now. Sorry, you guys. Mac was just calling me because he just got done with work. Not the face cloth in my shower. That's wet from earlier. I tried to like scrub my old tan off was it with a face cloth. Also, my lips are so dry right now. I need to like use my one that's downstairs. I can't use Laneige because I don't want to like put my finger in it because my hands are dirty. Honestly, I can't wash them yet because my spray tan. I got this like little mitt at my spray tan place that helps it come off really easily and not me kicking my <laughs> the laundry down the stairs so this is what I got oh I got two pairs of tights today from Wolford I need to hang up this jacket that I was wearing here it is sunless tan eraser and prep it's like a little exfoliating mitt preps you for your tan. Okay, so that is everything I have for you guys today. I'm gonna go downstairs and watch a movie with Mac. And I still have like, it's like eight o'clock right now. So I have like two hours till I can shower this tan off. And I'm gonna shower, get in bed, and go to bed. So that is my night. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I'm so excited for my New York vlog and just excited to travel tomorrow so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed if you're not already follow me on instagram and tiktok i've been like really active on tiktok and i've been trying so follow me over there maggie.mcdonald and then maggie mcdonald on instagram and i love you so so much And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.